Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm EZ69, and we're back. We are back uh, making footage. We're going to be live streaming uh, more. Um, hopefully, better live streams. I will start putting my camera back on. I'm back at home uh, with the family uh, for now. Hopefully, things work out. I've got my green screen back. I've got all my streaming set up back. So, hopefully, we will carry on streaming. But the first video back, we're going to have a look at the Tiger versus the Tiger P. Now, both of these tanks have the exact same gun. The DPM's pretty good. Penetration's good. Alpha 220, the rate of fire, reload, caliber, shell velocity, everything like that is the same with these tanks. Now, I have always preferred the Tiger P over the Tiger 1, especially if you remember a quite a few updates ago now, they got a reload buff and they was absolutely insane. Um, but the Tiger P always did it for me with the armor and the Tiger 1 never really had the armor, but what it did have is that speed at 44 kilometers uh, an hour. Um, however, a few updates ago, a couple of updates ago, Wargaming buffed the Tiger 1's armor and that has actually made this tank really 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 good um it deserved the buff it really did deserve the buff it's a unique tank it's uh it's one of the most famous tanks in the world um so i really do like that buff and to be honest i definitely now prefer the tiger one over the tiger p um because of that armor i mean you can see the whole armor is better on the tiger p than the tiger one um but it really does work on the Tiger 1, especially with the, the speed of the tank. You can get around the map really, really quickly. Um, but don't take... I mean, the, the Tiger P I still love. The Tiger P is still a fantastic tank. Um, but what the Tiger P does have, which I really don't like, is that hatch on top. Uh, the hatch on top does make it really, really weak. You can't really go hold down because that hatch is always showing. However... Both of these tanks now are, are very competitive and they can actually hold their own in, in tier 8, um, which I like about lower tier tanks. I like it when there is a tank in, say, tier 8 that can really hold its own in tier 9 um, or tier, from tier 7. A tier 7 tank hold its own in tier 8. And both of these tanks are like that. They both have the DPM, they both have the penetration, and they both do actually have the armor to, to bounce shots. Um, nowadays, the Tiger P is a lot more difficult to bounce uh, shots than the Tiger 1. Um, and that's mainly because of the, the hatch. So it's amazing how such a minor... Well, it wasn't even a minor. It, it was quite actually a big buff for the Tiger 1. Um, but it's, it's crazy how a little buff or a buff to the armor of the Tiger 1 can completely change how i feel um about these both tanks both of these tanks and the tiger one even before the the buffs of these tanks way long long ago i have always liked the tiger uh, the tiger p with the armor um it, i don't even think it needed the the reload buff and, and stuff that it that it did have um but it did and wargaming did nerf nerf the the reload because they didn't they did buff it and it was insane uh, for both of these tanks um you can see there nice shot there into the the chieftain um so both tanks are really 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 good both tanks um so i do prefer the tiger one i definitely do prefer the tiger one over the tiger p now um you can see the accuracy is pretty pretty good on these tanks uh both tanks to be fair they are pretty good um, you can get shots off that you well like that shot there on the Yag Tiger. Like I didn't think in that was gonna hit at all, but it did. Um when you're top tier in these tanks, these tanks are brutal. These tanks can really be brutal, and tier six medium tanks especially are gonna struggle to pen um either one of these tanks. Uh that's what I like about these tanks, that they're not invincible. They're not invincible, but they can still do damage. They can still bounce shots, which they can in tier eight. You can see there, we got a lucky bounce there, which kept us alive. And ultimately it might have, uh, actually that bounce might have won us the game, but I'm not taking the J, uh, the J Panther two for, for granted because I know he can kill me in, in one shot and we are losing on supremacy points. So I'm gonna try and hide from the J Panther uh, as much as I can. We do need to take him out. Um, and I also need to stop uh, capping uh, i need to stop the enemy from getting
get in this base. So I'm going to wait for the J Panther to come around and we're going to get that shot and we're just going to hide behind the building to carry on capping this, which will ultimately make us uh, ahead of these uh, of the red team. Uh, get a cheeky shot there into the J Panther. Now we put him down to a one shot and it should be a walk in the park now. All three tanks are one shot and there they go. So, I mean... We didn't bounce much. We only bounced 460 damage, which isn't a lot. Um, we still do, what, 2.7k damage. Uh, we don't, it's not enough for an ace. These tanks are quite difficult to ace now. Now the they've had uh, the buffs. Um, they are very popular. They are very popular tanks, and people do well in these tanks. Um, so what I was saying about these tanks being top tier, we just see the Tiger P there holding its own in tier eight. And now we're gonna see the Tiger one. I mean, look at the speed. The speed is absolutely fantastic. Um, even though it's got the armor buff, even though it has got the armor buff, as soon as people start switching the pram uh, to Pramo, they are gonna be able to pin you. They are gonna be able to pin you. And the Tiger one, which you do have to be careful about, is it has a really, really weak ammo rack. Uh, really weak ammo rack. Uh, if someone's in a smasher and they get the side of you, um, there's a high chance that you will be hammer, hammer racked. I've, I've, in these bottom tiers, I think the Tiger One is the tank I've seen ammo rack the most. Especially, it's the tank I've definitely ammo racked the most when I'm in a tank like the Smasher, um, because you just hit the side of the tank. You hit the side of the tank and it just blows up. So. If you can angle your tank, not too much because your, as I've said, the side of your uh, your armor is pretty weak. Your hull, your turret is pretty strong. So if you can get into a hold down position in, in the Tiger one, then you will get some bounces. But I love angling. I love showing my bottom plate to those medium tanks that think they can pen, but uh, it looks like they can pen. But now it's very very difficult to pen if you're in a medium tank aiming at a tiger one's bottom plate it's very very difficult to pen so this i mean this game already we've bounced more than we bounced in the tiger p um but again we are top tier so so far we've bounced 835 damage we're on 1800 damage uh, and we are just keep bouncing from that 87 and at this moment in the time i mean we're not going to rush it is a six versus four you can still we're still we you can see we're still getting those bounces um we're not going to rush just yet because if i start rushing then we could die quite quickly um but as soon as we take care of that 87 now we are going to make a move because i mean there's only three tanks left alive uh this cave V1S. If he shoots me, then he's going to deal a lot of damage to me, especially if he, if he has got that big gun. But I really want to focus on the National. The National's got a good gun. Uh, it's got no armor whatsoever, so I do want to take care of him. We're getting nasty shots from someone to the left. I'm not quite sure at the moment who it is, but there we go. It was the KV-2, uh, and he's dead, and it now just leaves this KV-1S. But again, I'm going to wait for him to shoot uh, because we are a one-shot to the guy, and then our SU takes him out. So both tanks, very, 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 very good. But since the, the update a few, a few updates ago, with the armor armor buff for the tiger one i definitely prefer this tank hope you enjoyed it guys good to be back i'm meaty and i'll catch you all soon bye bye